Hey, Brainout. I thought I'd find you here. I've been struggling with Linux. It's hard to get Linux to recognize the full storage of the stick. Yes. I spent many hours in Linux websites and forums, and in YouTube. There is a lot of bad or at least outdated information. The USB programs offered don't work. I was able to get the Fedora stick to work, but it wouldn't recognize the so-called Casper partition beyond 4 gigabytes. I had to delete some programs. Did you try the Casper RW drive to enable persistence on 32 gigabytes? I finally was able to make that work, but then couldn't see the drive in Linux, even when I resized the partition. Right. It won't see more than 4 gigabytes, no matter what. So within Mint, I resized the Fedora partitions, then reformatted the remainder as NTFS. So now the remainder can be used. So did you make a stick for Mint? I couldn't. I used the Fedora program, Windows Disk Imager, Pendrive Linux.com, Live USB Install, and even Untbooten. None of them worked. I couldn't get a Mint stick with persistence. Mint won't let you sign on as root, so you can't repartition the Mint stick from Mint CD. Must use a different Linux to repartition. And if you do, will Linux automatically extend the size beyond the 4 GB barrier? No. Worse, Linux never uses drive letters, but instead randomly generated keys. Live USB creator within Fedora won't look up files outside its root directory. You mean, you can't browse to a path? Or type one in? Cannot browse outside root. Can't figure out how to type in a path which identifies which drive the ISO file is in. No room to copy it into Linux root. Very frustrating. So then you can only use the Live Creator USB program within Windows or if you have Linux installed on a hard drive? Well, from within the Dolphin file manager, one can right-click on an ISO file, then extract it to the other stick. But it's not bootable. So you need Windows to use it? No, actually it won't install. Mint Wu by log file shows Mint didn't accept its own download as valid. So it aborted three times, but no warning that happened cost me an hour. I had a similar trial with Ubuntu, which claims 12.10 can go on a stick. After trying all its USB converters, none worked. When I reported that in its forum, my post was deleted. They deleted your post? Why? Because you were complaining? Well, they claimed I wasn't giving an answer, but I was. The answer was your USB converters do not work. I guess they didn't like that answer. But it does work, with 13.04. Really? You have persistence? The stick remembers your changes in each session? Not exactly. Ubuntu only remember files you copied and your username. Any other settings are not remembered. Very frustrating. Did you tell them that, in the Ubuntu forum? Why go back there? My post will be deleted. So I posted the problem in PC World, instead. Alright, we've tried Mint and Ubuntu, neither of which retain settings, but Fedora does. Its maximum Casper, is 4 GB. So you can't do much with it. Well, there's always the option, to partition the hard drive, and install it there. But if we have so many problems installing it with a stick, I wonder if it's worth doing at all especially with the file management being so hard to use. Weird disk names despite the labels we give to the disks. Can't easily tell which drive is which, can't type path names. Maybe someone has made a good file management program, and we just haven't found it yet. Well, in a per, the Fedora file download program, all the applications have long weird names. There are so many of them, will take time. To find out. Yeah, Ubuntu is the same. Download process is nice, but finding the right programs by topic is hard. They don't alphabetize either. Let's search in Google.
we have to find a solution to the problem of the 4 GB size, and to the arcane file management. And if we don't? Then it's bye-bye, Linux. Except for surfing, partitioning and backup, 